Coaching Crew Show for another edition of the College Basketball Power Rankings. As I like to call them, have been calling them since 2011. These are my CPI rankings, and that's just pa Charlie Power Index. I know, really creative stuff we got going on here, folks. But you know what? It works, and it's consistent, and more years than not, I'm pretty good at this stuff. Not the best, but darn good. So, the way we do it, First off, we, we ask you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe and follow back button. We just crossed over 600 viewers. Let's try to get that. Let's make it realistic. Let's go 625 before January 1. Help us out if, if you're the first time watching this. Hit the like, follow back, share to your followers, and then also comment below. We're pretty interactive and we like to, to include the chatter. Whether you agree or disagree, we're, we're pretty receptive and we're pretty friendly. But so far, the December team of the week for the week ending on 12-14, we have the Arizona Wildcats. They shellacked Wisconsin. And Wisconsin, spoiler alert, folks, they're number 12 in the CPI this week. So it's not like they beat Cupcake City or Cream Puff Town. They beat Wisconsin, a good one. Caleb Love, they transfer from UNC, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. I mean, he just did it all, and Wisconsin just did. Arizona, I was supposed to say, Arizona looked next level. So, Arizona, congratulations. You're our team of the week for the week ending on December 14th. Here are the other teams voted on that were in contention for teams of the week. Auburn. They absolutely destroyed Indiana. Here's how bad they beat Indiana. Indiana's five-star, Johnny Five-Star, their seven-foot center, number one. Auburn beat him so bad, he quit the team and said he's going to focus on the NBA from here on out and, and the, becoming a lottery pick. That's how bad Indiana lost to Auburn. On top of that, Auburn went to a technically a neutral site, sold out Huntsville in their Rocket City Classic, and just continued their whooping over UNC Asheville. Now, Auburn's got a great one coming up this weekend where, the, where they're playing the return match in Neville Arena against USC. So that's going to be fun to watch. All right, so there's one team in condition. Other team, remaining undefeated in a battle of undefeateds, Clemson beat TCU. So Clemson's up there this week. Staying in the SEC footprint, Tennessee beat Number 20 ranked Illinois, and then later in the week, beat up on Georgia Southern. So good job, Tennessee. And then lastly, Memphis, the the, the fighting Penny Hardaways, okay? They went and played Texas A&M and upset Texas A&M. So there's our teams of the week this week. I also want to throw this nugget out here. There's only five teams that are in the top 25 for each of these four categories. The net ranking, which is used to help determine who makes the March Madness tournament and who does not. The Ken Palm rankings, which have nothing officially to do with college basketball, but yes, they do. They tell you everything you need to know about college basketball. Offensive scoring efficiency, that's points per possession. And defensive scoring efficiency, that's points allowed per possession. There's only five teams in the country right now that are in the top 25 of each. Just throwing information out there and see where it sticks. Arizona, they are in the top five of every all four of those categories. Houston is in the top two of three of the four categories and in the top 25 of all four categories. Connecticut, top 14 for all, all four categories. Iowa State, top 18 for all four categories. And Oklahoma, the top 20 for all four categories. I am a gambling man. I am a wagering enthusiast. I would say at least extremely minimum for money line purposes. There's someone to look at this weekend. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, this is my CPI rankings for December 15th. We're going to start at 20. We'll work our way down. For the full 68 of seeing my projections for the field, just go to coachandcrewshow.com. You'll see it right there, and you can read it for, for what it's worth. All right, starting at 20 and counting upward. At 20, Utah. At 19, Virginia. At 18, Illinois. At 17, Oklahoma. 
at 16, Colorado State. At 15, Auburn. At 14, Texas A&M. At 13, Florida Atlantic. At 12, Wisconsin. At 11, Alabama. At 10, Clemson. At 9, BYU. And yes, because you can already tell we've had some changes inside our top eight. Top eight. New to the top eight. Tennessee at eight. Switching up one spot. Baylor is now at seven. Kansas at six. And then top five remain the same from last week. Connecticut, you five. Marquette, the Fighting Shaka Smarts are at four. Purdue at three. Houston is at two. And yes, Arizona is my number one team in the country. Right now, they would be the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament if things started today. So there you have it, folks. There's the CPI rankings as of Friday, December 15th. Please hit the follow back, hit the like, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and comment below. We'll see you again next Friday, the 22nd.